talk about three different ways that will improve autophagy and, and how do you, one, some ways are better than others. But I also just wanna say that autophagy is a really interesting mechanism of your body because what it does is it really means self-eating. It's the body getting rid of what no longer serves it. And what's beautiful about autophagy is your body's so intelligent that when you actually start to stimulate autophagy, you also stimulate something called apoptosis. So here are the three ways. Okay, way number one is fasting. Of course, it has to be fasting, but fasting is the best way. Yes, there are a lot of ways to stimulate autophagy, but fasting is the best way. It is the most efficient way. And there was a 2018 review that found that fasting uh, massively stimulates autophagy by putting a mild stressor on your cells. Now, we're gonna have a conversation about mild stressors on cells. So I just brought uh, doc uh, Dr. Stacy uh, Sims onto my Resetter podcast. So she's a beautiful person to go follow. A lot of you had asked me if I could bring her on because you thought that we disagreed on fasting. But when I brought her on, there was a lot of nuance between, fa uh, uh, between her views on fasting and my views on fasting. Um, and once we dis discovered and talked about that, we actually found that we had more similarities in our message than, than um, oppositions. And one of the things that we both agreed on is when you stimulate hard things, whether it's through fasting or exercise, you force your cells to become better versions of themselves. So think about that for a hot moment. When we are living a comfortable life, when we don't have a lot of growth in our life, when we're hanging out on the couch or we're not moving our body, we're not forcing our body to become better versions of ourselves. So the name of the aging game is to pulse in hard. And fasting is a way of pulsing in something hard that actually sends a signal to the cells to repair themselves, be a better cell. You know, you can't be a better version of yourself sitting on the couch and eating ultra processed foods and, and, list, and, and listening to toxic information from news or social media all day long. That is not the path to a better version of you. A better version of you is somebody who decides, I'm not scared of hard things, I'm gonna do short little pulses of hard things. So with fasting, what you're doing is you're actually triggering um, this autophagy response inside the cell. And a 2018 review found that you are putting an incredible amount of pressure on the cells when you fast, and it's called a hormetic stress, that is a positive one, and that you are increasing autophagy specifically within the brain. Okay, this is important. Because at a time when we have dementia and Alzheimer's at its peak, if you can just pulse in some fasting, 17 hours a day, uh, throw in a 24 hour, I've done a lot of videos here on fasting, you are going to increase autophagy in your brain, which means your brain is gonna be able to get rid of the old stuff that do, that's gonna create the placking, that's gonna create the memory loss. Your, your brain's going to get rid of that so that you can have good neurons and good cells in your brain that provide you with good brain energy. Okay, so number one way is fasting. Okay, number two, and this was, this was Dr. Stacy Sims. Uh, approach to autophagy was exercise. So it was really beautiful because here I stood as a fasting expert and she was over here as an exercise expert and we came together on this autophagy concept and we were like, yeah, yeah, autophagy is hard to, to when you exercise, you should pulse in hard. When you fast, you should pulse in hard so that we hit this autophagy effect. But what I want you to know is that what exercise particularly does is it stimulates something called mitophagy. And mitophagy is the mitochondria cleaning up its act. So fasting stimulated autophagy in the brain, exercise stimulates autophagy in your mitochondria. And your mitochondria, as it starts to power itself up, is gonna give you more ATP, and it's going to start to give you um, a, 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 more, a, a deeper sense 
of energy that will last you all day. So we talked about this in the Resetter podcast with Stacey Sims, that we have to start looking at exercise as we age as a resource for energy. So it'd be really interesting to think, well, gosh, I don't, I don't need to push my workouts because I don't have that energy to do that. Um, but what I want you to flip that and realize that lifting heavy weights, doing short bursts of HIIT training stimulates specifically this mitophagy that's gonna give you more energy for the rest of your day. I'm not talking about an hour long workout, I'm talking about a short 20 minute workout. Okay, that's number two. Number three is saunas. Now this is really cool. So um, some of you have saunas. Um, one of my favorite saunas is sunlight and saunas. I have that one at my home. I love it because it's an infrared sauna that heats up from the inside out. But what's interesting from an autophagy standpoint is that saunas stimulate heat shock proteins. Heat, it causes your body to make these heat shock proteins. And these heat shock proteins go around your system and they start to stimulate autophagy. So now we all of a sudden are in a sauna and it creates a systemic effect of these proteins that will keep autophagy going um, well beyond the time in the sauna. And it was really interesting because there is some, some really good research on this. A 2018 uh, study found that heat shock proteins are especially good, we're back at the brain, at activating autophagy in the brain. So if you're having some memory loss, if you're searching for words, if you can't hold on to new information, try getting a sauna and getting into that. It's so relaxing, it up, up regulates your parasympathetic nervous system. Um, it helps with sweating, so it detoxes you and it gets these heat, heat shock proteins that are gonna stimulate autophagy in the brain. And at a time where dementia and Alzheimer's at its highest, really important that we are using tools like saunas to be able to help with these added autophagy effects. In fact, we just spent some time in Denmark and our friends in Denmark were telling us that actually Finland is now considered one of the happiest countries in the world. And it has me wondering if maybe it's because they're hanging out in saunas that's getting these heat shock proteins that are helping with brain stimulation. Just a curious thought. Okay, have you been watching my videos and you're like, I don't know how to put this stuff all together? You might need my fasting lifestyle free course. I'll teach you exactly how to do it. Just click on the link below. It'll take it to you and it's absolutely free. My gift to you. So last thing I'm gonna tell you is an, uh, one of the most popular ways to get autophagy that really needs to be prioritized in your life is sleeping. So at night, when you sleep, your brain actually shrinks, your cerebral spinal fluid goes up and it nourishes the brain um, and it detoxes the brain. So if we look at, a, at what I've taught you today on this video, is if we look at it over a course of time, um, we are exercising with heavy weights to stimulate autophagy or HIIT training to stimulate autophagy, that sprints, that kind of 30 second pulsing of an activity. We are fasting in a, in a week to stimulate autophagy. We're going in our sauna and we're sleeping, hopefully every night, um, seven to nine hours. Deep sleep is what will really clean out the brain the most if you have one of those aura rings. So now it's the little things we're doing on a daily basis that is building a really, really good brain, which you don't have to fall prey to dementia and Alzheimer's if you know the rules of the aging game. And here are some of them that I just gave you. So autophagy, we love it, our bodies do it. We just know how, need to know how to stimulate it. And there are three of my favorite ways with a little bonus of sleep. So as always, I hope that helps. If you love any of these three and you've noticed the changes in your brain, please put it in the comments so we can all um, cheer you on and learn from um, your hacks that might be helping your autophagy within your body. So as always, I hope that helps. So on the next video I have, it's called, do this before you sleep to avoid belly fat. And there's habits you wanna do the night before and there's habits you wanna do in the morning and all of those make a big difference. Make sure your room is cool. If our mattress is cool, if the room is cool, it activates the parasympathetic nervous system. This is a little bit like cold plunges 